So that sounds fanciful, but that's standard cosmology at the moment. The big question then is, well, what started the inflation? What stops the inflation? How long did the inflation go on for? And the answer to that is, we're not sure. We don't know. In the beginning, there was an infinitely dense, tiny ball of matter, which started to expand and would eventually give rise to the atoms, molecules, stars and galaxies we see today. But what was there before the Big Bang? What was the state of the universe before, well, everything? The universe underwent a breathtaking cosmic expansion, doubling in size at least 80 times in the fraction of a second. This rapid inflation, fueled by a mysterious form of energy that permeated empty space itself, left the universe desolate and cold. And only after that did the hot, dense conditions of the Big Bang emerge. Some of those theories suggest that the inflation doesn't stop all at once. It stops in patches, and every time it stops, you get a universe. And so some of these theories, they're called eternal inflation theories, suggest that there might not be just our universe, the bit that we can see, but there might be many universes, perhaps an infinite number of them, and they may be being produced all the time.